Hello, lean fans. We are going to tackle the biggest problem today. My God. Okay, so this has everything to do with why the factory needs to be visual. Currently, we're really struggling to understand from an engineering perspective, where do our engineers efforts have to be, which machine needs work and how much does it need? So kind of walk you through the problem and then show you what we came up with. It's noisy in here, but well, we'll make it work. So this is the current state of the CNC work area. And you can see we have a couple of boards posted where we hang the work orders, but it's still not very visual. And if you look at them, look how many there is here all pinned together. Some are, are vertical, some are horizontal. I mean, there's so much guessing and assuming here. It's absolutely staggering. We need to fix this. But you'll always hear me preaching. I wanna know what's going on from 10 feet away. So by the time we're done this improvement, from where we're standing here, I should know exactly what needs to be done, in what order, and do I need to keep working? Everybody needs a guy like Tom. He's our amazing designer that makes all of this stuff come to life. Make friends that can do this stuff. Yes. Hey. Last one. So here we go. We're gonna unravel this mess and post it so that we can see what's going on my god, I can already feel the stress just melting away. So what are all those? More, more jobs. Pardon? More jobs. Which one of the eight deadly wastes is that? Oh, overproduction. Overproduction. Uh, well, I'm the programmer here, and this is an improvement that we just had here on the top floor. So we wanted to make everything more visual. So what we have here uh, is on the board. We have the target of doors that we set up, and also we have here all the jobs that have been posted so far, and the kind of doors that are posted as well. So uh, at the end of the day, if we finish one of the jobs, I will know from the distance that, well, I'm gonna post a job then, and every time they finish a job, Oh, starting to run low, and then it's wrong for me that I will have to start programming anytime soon. And well, now we have an emergency, so it's very visual that when I'm running on the shop floor, I'll be realizing what machines are actually running low and what I have to do next. And we have a few baseball fans, so we put on deck, and it's our batting order. Does this make your job easier? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, team nailed it. I'm so excited. I'm like, can't wait to show you guys this. So check this out. Right from here, I can see now that machine doesn't need any work. I can see behind me that machine. But there we go. That needs a couple of nests. We're uh, starting to run low. And then I can see all the way across the shop there. Why can't I get my finger to work? There we go. <laughs> uh, that that machine doesn't need any work. And there's one more where the green light is, but you know, we'll have to walk around to see that one. But now in an instant, we can see where needs work, how much work do they need, problem, Okay, I'm getting ready to throw this video up, but I just wanted to make sure that we touched on what we kind of mentioned earlier about the engineering department overproducing is we are always thinking about the factory overproducing. In this case, these boards are more for the engineer to know when he should stop working and when he should start working. These are very critical pieces of information for them. Typically engineers, they love to stay busy. I mean, everybody does. And they'll just keep doing their thing, whether it's drawings or whether it's programming. But if, if your factory is not consuming it as fast as they're doing their programming, then no advantage. So you don't wanna run into having a whole bunch of engineering done just to find out you have to make a tweak and then redo it all again. So these boards made things very visual for us.
told the engineers when to start working and most important, when to stop working. All right, I'm done.